Many experts regarded the large increase in credit card borrowing in March not as a sign that households were pressed for cash and forced to borrow, rather a sign of confidence by households that they could safely handle new debt. So that is a prompt with a few rather large difficulties. Um, one of the idioms that the GMAT expects you to know, if you're contrasting a negation and an affirmation, if you're saying something is not true, something else is true, they use the construction not blah, 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 but blah, blah, blah. So not paired with but. And then, of course, these two elements have to be in parallel. And here we have not as something. So that needs to be contrasted with but as something to reinforce the parallelism. And so notice right away, the only choice that has but as is choice D. So that is right away. We know that that's the correct answer. Um, I'll just point out that but also in E, that's part of a completely different idiom, not only X, but also Y. Okay. And in fact, that's not, that's not appropriate here. That's not when you're contrasting one false thing and, and another true thing, but you're contrasting two things that are both true that you wouldn't think would be true at the same time. So that's a completely different idiom, but not appropriate here. I'll also point out that what we have in choice A, a sign of confidence by households, that's really awkward and indirect and wordy. Whereas what we have in D, a sign that households were confident, that is completely clear and completely direct and concise. So by far that makes D the best to answer. Many experts regarded the large increase in credit card borrowing in March not as a sign that households were pressed for cash and forced to borrow, but as a sign that households were confident they could safely handle new debt. And the correct answer is D.